This is it. We've taken the Click CPU, installed the programming software, written a simple project, powered it, transferred the project to the Click CPU's memory, and tested the project. Now we get to see the results. Hopefully you still are connected to the CPU with your project up and running and you still have the data view dialog box showing the C1 bit entered. If not, please do this next. Okay, if you are there and the C1 bit is still in the on state from step 9, we need to turn it off by double clicking on the off button in the new value column on our C1 entry as shown here. In other words, we can toggle the C1 bit on and off by double clicking on the opposite state of the new value button. Here we go. While watching the Click CPU Y001 output, double click the on button in the new value column of the C1 entry, shown here. After five seconds, you will see the red LED come on. If you missed viewing the transition of the Y001 status LED from off to on, write an off state to the C1 bit and then an on state and data view to do it again. Let's try one more thing. You may have noticed we also have an X001 input in our ladder logic that is programmed in parallel to our C1 bit. In our demo unit, we have a push button wired into X001 and also an indicator pilot light wired to output Y001. If we press the push button and wait five seconds, we will see the indicator turn on. Our ladder logic program is working as we intended. We are done. We hope you have gained some insight into the simple use of the Click PLC system and are now more comfortable in finding a use for it in your next control or automation project. Until next time, thank you for watching and have a great day.